Hey guys and gals, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. How y'all doing out there today? And it's been, it's a nice weekend here on the mountain. I have had a very, I, I think I'm really enjoying it because I've had people here uh, recently working during the week and I didn't realize how much I enjoyed my quiet alone time here. So I've had a quiet weekend on the mountain and just a lot of time to, uh, actually I've done a lot of relaxing. I mean, I, I kind of get different type work done when I'm relaxing. I do my brainstorming stuff and uh, I've been watching a lot of videos and doing a little studying here and there and uh, it's just been a real good weekend. Wanted to do a video, a recipe video today. Now this is going to be a recipe, vi recipe video that has uh, multiple uses. So. I do videos every day on the raw vegan lifestyle, plant-based lifestyle in general, uh, fitness, uh, sometimes a little meditation, a bit of philosophy here and there. So if you're not already subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button now and click on the little bell and check send notifications so you will uh, sit, stay subscribed to the channel. Um, the one I'm going to share with you today, well first let me say this, there's going to be different variations to a very simple recipe. But you can use this idea in general. Most every recipe I get from whoever it is, whatever, no matter how good it is or whatever, I play with it. I use this flavor, I use that flavor, and the other. And you know, I do just different things with it, whether it's a different spice, whether it's putting a little heat into it or whatever. So this is a good recipe, and this recipe is good enough to me, but you, I guess you guys have figured out by now that I'm a little different, a little strange. Um, I have eaten this, dressing for over three weeks now and I don't always I haven't had a salad at night a hundred percent of the time in fact like last night I was just having a nice mellow day it got dinner time I didn't feel like doing any food prep really so I just made myself a green smoothie but every non smoothie fruit just like any salad this is basically this dressing or a variation of it has been what I've been using um, now, I looked. At, I did a little bit of uh, looking around online this morning because I realized, as I show you this, the base of this recipe is going to be mango. Now, I know there's a lot of people out there that a don't get, that a don't get mango, b it's very expensive where they are, and probably a lot of the time they're not the best anyway. So if you can get mango, it'd be nice to do it. Um, but you know, I'm thinking. And that's why I got online. I don't eat a lot of that stuff. I'm thinking when I go this summer, we, we get peaches in the south where I'm from. I'm going to definitely try it with peaches. Um, I'm thinking possibly nectarines, apricots. Which one is it? I don't eat a lot of nectarines and apricots. One of them's a little bit firmer, but um, I think it's probably the apricot that's actually a little bit closer to the mango. But I'm thinking you could probably, I'm thinking peach for sure. Um, because it's it's a uh, real wet, you know, it's kind of that the same consistency I don't know because I don't eat apricots and um, Nectarines as much, but I'm thinking you probably could do something with that as well So anyhow, I just it depends on the size of my salad and I'm eating it. Oh, and by the way I'm going out of my way doing a special one for you today because um, For the lighting purposes I needed to do this during the day and I don't normally eat my salad during the day But that's fun to mix it up every once in a while. So I just kind of eyeball it there's no certain amount, so you'll just have to kind of see what I'm doing. I've start. this is the Vitamix. I've got about this much mango in here. All right, now the first, listen, for a while, and sometimes I don't have red pepper, I've run out of red pepper over the course of the last three and a half weeks. Um, what I simply started out doing was mango. A little bit of cayenne or any kind of heat. I've used, uh, one day I had a little uh, jalapeno here, so I used a little piece of jalapeno, but a little bit of heat. So some mango, um, cayenne, smoked paprika, and a little splash of Bragg's Aminos. Just that, no more. Blend it up, it's a nice, nice, um, the, the spices and that little bit of saltiness from the Bragg's gives it a little bit of contrast to the fruit. And since I've been eating so much fruit, that just, that's a nice, that's nice in the evening. So there you go right there. Just, just the mango, um, cayenne, smoked paprika, splash of Bragg's. If you don't use Bragg's, don't use Bragg's. You could possibly, I don't know, maybe it might mess with the consistency a little bit. You could put a little celery in there. Um, you could make your own celery salt, uh, but that's neither here nor there. That's just one version. All right, now I'll kind of make it how I'm gonna be making it today, ver the, the second addition to it. Um, I had red pepper. Oh, and I got some really nice red peppers at the market yesterday. 
So I cut up some red pepper there. And like I say, I just, I eyeball all this stuff because I, I don't know. I just kind of like, I don't ever make the same recipe twice. I'm not sure I'm going to use all the red pepper. All right, so that's about the ratio so far. So we've got, you see where the mango is? You see where the pepper is? And then you can do, you can do the cayenne again. You can put some cayenne. You can put the smoked paprika, a little splash of the Braggs. Boom. There you've got it there at the addition of the pepper. Now here's another little trick on it. Then this is where I had some in the counter and I'm like, I, you know, I've had the dressing so many days. I'm like, all right, let's mix it up a little bit tonight. And I had some curry. So that's actually what I'm going to do today. So I'll go ahead and do that, that part. I just put a little curry in there. A little bit of cayenne. This cayenne, I have to be careful with it. Um, I like hot stuff, but it'll, you never know. You get different cayennes and they can be different strengths. Like sometimes, don't you hate it? Have you ever done that with a heat? Like you've made something and you've ruined it or almost ruined it. You're sitting there trying to eat it, but it's so damn hot. So I just kind of, you know, a couple little dashes right there. I can always go back. I can't take out, but I can always go back. And, you know, smoked paprika to taste. I like, I tend to like smoked paprika, so I probably go a little heavier on the smoked paprika than some, but there we go. Quick little splash of Bragg's. And you got it. And now this, you know, there's so much mango in there, and mango is such a watery, juicy fruit that of course no don't don't add any water to this um it would just make it would make it way too thin and then i just put it on there taste test this thing here and usually with me it depends if I've got time or not or the, the mood I'm in or how much time I'm taking a lot of times I'll do it I'll make it taste it and I'll go back and adjust it a little bit but this is pretty good this is pretty good Actually, I'm going to put one last little bit of uh, curry in there. Oh, and somebody's going to ask me, there's never any rhyme or reason with this. I mean, Jesus, that would take me about, that would take me making this recipe, I don't know how many times, if I, to get down exactly how much cur curry and stuff. kind of assume too especially that like most people are better in the kitchen than me so I'm figuring you can take some of these little tricks and you know like you know you just make them your own or you kind of you kind of adjust you know but always think when you're adding stuff whether you're adding cayenne whether you're adding curry whether you're adding uh, smoked paprika a lot of my dressings the way I've gotten to where I like them is I've played you know like I say you can't take stuff out, so don't go heavy-handed. You can always go back and put a little bit more curry. You can always go back and put a little bit more cayenne, but once the flavor's in there, you can't take it out, so. Let's see how that did. Now that's perfect. All right, now I'm not gonna do this. As you've probably noticed by now, no fat in these uh, recipes. And you know what? I am making a huge mess right here. That's why I don't generally uh, eat in these videos. That's why I don't eat in these videos. So excuse me, you're just gonna have to bear with me there for a second. <laughs> okay, now, as you guys know, right now I'm not eating. Um, I'm not eating. I'm not adding overt fats for a while. 
so I'm not going to do this, but the final version of this, and this is really good, and you can do it, you can do it a little bit lower fat or you can do it a little bit higher fat, depending on where you are today. I do it both ways. It's tahini. Tahini is the, I forgot who, who somebody in some group, somebody, and I can't, I'm, I'm almost thinking of who it was, but I can't think of it. I had been making this for a while, and then I saw add tahini, and it is so good. If you wanna, if you wanna add one, you get nice creaminess, and it makes it so nice and creamy. It just really creams it up. You add one, it's not. It's good. It's very good. You add two, it's absolutely heavenly. Now that just depends on where your fat is for the day. It just depends what I'm doing, what cycle I'm in. Sometimes I put in one. Sometimes I go ahead and put in the whole two. Now when you put this in and it gets a little bit thicker, a little bit creamier, um, that's also really good to put over um, zoodles, zoodles and koodles, cucumber noodles. Um, I don't know, just something about the texture, the way that it's, it's so, I think what's Tanny Raw's word, stickability. When it gets thicker and creamier like that, it's got a lot of good stickability. So um, it really works with those, um, with those noodles of different types. Anyhow, that's very good timing here. It's just starting to rain. I didn't know if I was going to make get this one done before the rain came. It's um, it was loudy yesterday. In fact, I couldn't even hardly listen to videos. I had to pull out my little speakers, which I only pull out when it gets really loud in here. So that was great timing. I got the video done. Um, so anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed that one. Um, you know, try it this summer. Somebody try it with peaches or something else and tell me how it goes. Anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up, and I will see you again tomorrow. Peace.